isolation. We had begun to believe that we were the only survivors of the catastrophic event that had shaped our lives. Supplies were beginning to run low, and I was forced to prepare for the worst outcome. Just as I feared that we were truly alone. Just as I feared that the end was near. We need to talk. Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, JC, and welcome back to my channel once again, and welcome to you, my friend. What brings you here, Jason? <laughs> because I have no idea, honestly, I, what's going on right now. I, I just happened to be in Auburn. I thought I'd kind of swing by. Uh, just happened to be. Have a, have a chat with you. Just, just knock on the door. Just knock on the door, see how you're doing. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so, just anything, anything special going on? Just any, like, is there any, any? Well, there's other one thing special. special. Congratulations on reaching 100,000. That was well played, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. It actually, means a lot. <laughs> it was fantastic. I watched it live happening. It was, it was wonderful. I, I can't even imagine that. <laughs> but <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, I was at least somewhat okay with that. It was awesome. I really enjoyed it. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Definitely. I think I was playing Garage Crowby at the time. You were best you were. map. Uh, thank you. Yeah, of, um, of Black Ops Three, best map. Like I, I will, I will say that every day of my life. I love all my children. You know that, so I. I but I uh, Garg is even Zetsubo. Especially Zetsubo. Especially Zetsubo. I like Zetsubo. Too. Yeah, I, I really like Zetsubo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is where the serious journalism kicks in. So, you've kind of just stopped by. Yes. And you're just here for no reason. You got you got some reason to be here, right? You got something. Well, I mean, there's been a lot of talk in the there's community. There's been a lot of talk. A lot of talk in the community. Um, you know, and it's you know it's so hard sometimes oh to really think about. God. You know what? Um, you know what kind of topics to talk about when you kind of go and visit someone. So, I think the most important thing to talk about would be. Are you wearing that shirt the whole time. <laughs> um, Zombie Chronicles. <laughs> Oh my God. Um, That's an amazing name, by the way. Thank you very much. I love um, it. I love and it. I think it really speaks to what it is. And again, some of those rumors are out there, but let me let me officially confirm. Oh. So what we've done is a uh, loving uh, fan service piece by making eight of the original maps, uh, going back from World at War all the way through. Because one thing we realized was that a lot of our fans are kind of come in later, come in at like Black Ops 2 or even Black Ops 3. And so those kind of early storyline kind of concepts, those early mm. maps that really kind of set down the foundation for zombies, right. a lot of people hadn't experienced them or they kind of experienced them in little bits and bobs at different places. Or they've so, heard about the moon blowing up but they never actually <laughs> exactly. saw the moon or and, the earth blowing them up. And here's the thing, right? back in the day when those coming out, uh, the consoles are great at the time, but you know, compared to modern consoles, oh, yeah. there's there's a whole world different. Right. And so some of those ideas, because zombies are very much about lighting and mood, um, that can only truly be executed now on on, the, on modern hardware. Because right. then you can really play with with those ideas. You can play with lighting mm -hmm. and so forth. So um, we've lovingly recreated and remastered uh, eight of the original maps. Not four. Not four. Not four. So the the rumors are true. Eight. The rumors you're going, are true. You're going double. Confirmed. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but like, for real, that's insane on its own. You have it's, not just four, because everybody always assumed four. Yeah. If y'all were ever gonna do anything else, it was always the idea of, oh, they're just gonna bring, you know, four just really well loved maps. But sure. this is this is more than just that. This is eight maps and maps that not only people love, but maps that people should experience. Yeah. Right? It's I mean, I I truly describe it as a a love letter from Treyarch to the community. Mm -hmm. That's that's how we've treated it. That's amazing. Um, it's it's like, a it's a lot of work. I mean, I won't bore you with the details of yeah. it, but the team was so passionate about doing it, and it fit in perfectly in the development of the things that we do at Treyarch. So it slotted in nicely as well. Oh, nice. And when we talked about it, they just we were looking at the first four and we were talking about it. Which mm -hmm. ones should we do? And then finally, we couldn't decide. And said, okay, we'll do all eight then. 
So we <laughs> so so you're sitting there. You're like, all right, we can't we can't do. We were trying to pick, and we were like, well, that one, or that it, one. Like you said, it's, it's like picking your favorite child. Yeah, it's like, it's really hard, you know. And and those are the maps that were being developed when I was kind of first mm-hmm. starting up, you know, because Trek's been doing zombies all the way back from World at War. Right. So they were the ones that inspired me, and um, and so it was kind of wonderful to kind of go in there, um, and to be to do a faithful recreation as well, you know. Mm-hmm. I could have gone back in and kind of played with lots of stuff and changed things, but I really felt like it was important to give people the beginnings in as, as true and as pure a form, but kind of, again, realize the new next-gen hardware right. to kind of get the most of that experience. Um, because it really kind of sets the story up and sets everything rolling. So, so that's what it, I mean, there's, there's a couple of little things in there. But um, just little but things. <laughs> just a couple, a couple of little things. Little maybe, maybe any ciphers? Any I ciphers sh- in there? I, uh, uh, just, uh, but it's more about the fact that I felt it was important to to give people the authentic experience because that's what kind of got us into it in the first right. place, right? And that's what I wanted to do. So um, we created those eight maps with that with that spirit in mind. Just hearing the rumors about this, mm-hmm. I personally, for the longest time, never thought this would ever happen. Like when sure. people. Uh, a year ago would say stuff like this I would just immediately go okay that's just that's just clickbait that's just that's not real at all there's no way that would ever happen but it's happening and it's happening on Black Ops 3 still which is insane and here's the thing it it really shouldn't right you know our Mm. our four maps was our season that was that and that is that this was just an extra thing this is a new thing it's a special kind of one-off package because I saw the communities ask for this for like how many years now? Oh yeah. oh yeah. And it just, all the kind of pieces lined up. And so we said, okay, we can do it. Um, that's, that's amazing. And so that's, like, that's why I describe it as that love letter. Cause I think all the guys, you know, back at the studio, um, really kind of worked their tails off to kind of do it. Cause it's, it's a Herculean feat. You know, when people say, oh, it's, these are reskins. Uh, I wish, <laughs> I wish it was as simple as click reskin button, but, uh, Everyone back at Trout worked very hard, uh, very long to be able to kind of bring this, bring this all together right. and be faithful to what it originally was while also re-realizing it for the new power of, right. of the console. So um, yeah, that's, that's the kind of purpose of it. I suppose you want to know which maps. Oh, that, that's something that I'm very, I'm very curious about because, okay, okay. <laughs> I, yes. Okay, one, one map for me has to be in there. Okay. And like, I'm pretty sure it is, but it better be. Which okay. one? Shangri-La better be in there. Shangri-La is in there, yes. Thank God, my boys. <laughs> Shangri-La. Let, let, me, go, let me go through the list. And by the okay. way, uh, this, mo- uh, this morning I was sitting in the hotel room before coming and seeing you. And I was like, we've been working on this. And I started forgetting them. I'm not forgetting them, but I'd say the same one like over and over again. I was like, I'm going to count eight out like on your video. Uh-huh. And I was like, I kept on doing like Shangri-La twice or whatever. Like <laughs> <myself. laughs> So let me see if I can go through the list now and get it okay. right. Okay. <clears throat> Right. We'll start from like the the very first one. Like I'm not going to do it in order. I'm not going to do it in order. order. I just had a I had a a a technique to remember them. Okay, (laughs) which is great. You acronym? Yeah, exactly. This is this is the sign of a good uh, pack when it takes me effort to actually remember all them. Does it have uh, some weird uh, letter correlation like fear? You remember that? Uh, Yeah, yeah. I'm the throwback. I'm not going to make any comments on this. (laughs) Okay, ready. So, uh, Nactor and Totem. Perfect. There you go. The classic. Shangri-La. The most beautiful map ever, probably. <laughs> like, does that's gonna look insane? Kino de Totem. Oh my god, yes. Moon. Has to be. Has to be in there. Shinonuma. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Ascension. Ascension's gotta be the class where all the main Easter eggs started. Vrukt. Oh. That's my that personally that's my favorite out of the classic maps is Vrukt. Origins. Origins. Freaking origins! I did it. See, mom, I remembered it. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, the origins. I I think we've we've had sort of this discussion before as mm. well. Like origins to me kind of felt like the beginning of Black Ops Three. So I feel like that map more than any other feels sure. perfectly right. To, I to it, be like it was in one. This of, pack. It was one of those ones where I would definitely say the aspirations of it kind of were almost exceeding the platform at the time. Right. You know. Oh yeah. Um, and you, you do that often in your career. You kind of do a map and you're like, if only I had a bit more GPU or a bit yeah. more CPU, I could do I this. I don't know how that. y'all pulled that off at the time. Like, oh, I, it's crazy. I mean, it's it's really, you know, in the, in the game industry, we talk about smoke and mirrors. Like the mm-hmm. ability to make you feel that you've seen something that we don't actually show you. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the kind of impressionist painters, you know, they say, you don't have to paint every leaf on the tree for it to look like a tree. Right. In the same way in kind of game development, you're trying to leave you with the spirit that you saw something even if you didn't and that's that takes technique to be able to kind of pull that stuff off so I have a question for you yes so if Origins is coming back yeah does that mean the fog's also rolling back in 
Um, <laughs> the fog may be rolling back in. <laughs> now with more fog. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the community goes wild. Um, yeah, um, we got a bit of fog. Yeah, yeah, volumetric. Yeah, it's got. Oh, it's nice. got to be the next gen. As well. <laughs> <laughs> next gen fog, guys. You heard it here first. To be honest, the majority of the development was me saying, "How do we make this fog better?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then also the mud as well. I can't forget the mud. The mud, yeah, yeah. Now just, with now with depth mud, yeah. No, it's not depth. <laughs> just, just messing with you know. I just honestly like uh, just seeing all these maps again. Like I said, like I I love Shangri La. You guys know this on the channel if you've been here for a while. I love Shangri La just because it's such a hard map, and I love the environment. I love the entire story behind that map. I just mm -hmm. thought it was such a cool like mythology behind it and sure. everything. And I feel like seeing that map now. I mean, that was 2011. Yeah. It's been what, six years? Well, because you're mentioning dates, it'd probably be also important to know when it's going to be coming out. Oh my God. Oh my God, I didn't thought about that. May 16th. May 16th, like this first, early? First on PlayStation 4. Oh my God. May 16th. Yeah. Everybody, and everybody was thinking June. Something yeah. Something was coming out. Yeah. May See, 16th. I do have some secrets left. <laughs> There's so I still have some things. <laughs> but um, we're going to be, uh, we're also going to be doing a, uh, live stream from Treyarch on Monday. So uh, today's Thursday, but it's going to be Monday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> today's Thursday. Honestly, <laughs> this is not back in time. Um, so we're doing a live stream on Monday and that was, we're going to get into some more of the gory details, uh, some of the kind of celebration, because not only is it mm -hmm. this kind of pack that um, we think that the fans are going to enjoy, but there's a whole set of kind of celebrations and other things surrounding it oh, man. Um, that we'll talk about I in the live stream. So uh, keep an eye on the on the uh, social channels on the Twitter, try out Twitter because we're talking about when that's happening and you can all tune in. I, again, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even imagine this even yeah, happening. I just did all my and... official statements really well then, come on. Yeah, yeah that was really good. Yeah, that was really good. It's like, it's like a seamless segue. That was really good. Thank you. I, I have another question for you. Yes. Okay, I think this is the first time, one of the first times you've come out and talked since Revelations. Yes. There's that live stream in December. Yeah. Or whatever. I do but, talk in my real life. It's yeah, that's true. <laughs> he does. I don't exist. just sit there and mute. <laughs> like you just, you just, you just awaken. <laughs> yeah, like Activision kind of presses the buttons, and I just come out of a cryo chamber. Yeah. But but you said there's some little things. Yeah. Some little little secrets sure. that are in there somewhere. Yes. Will that tie in with any way? With re with Revelations ending, because I know I know you can't tell me what the Revelations ending meant, but like it's. Why don't you tell me? What do you mean? You tell me what the Revelations ending meant. I, I feel like if I said that, <laughs> I would just look back on this year from now and regret everything I exactly, said. Exactly, that's why I'm like, letting you just walk into the holy. Because, yeah. because Origins, the Origins ending is so much like the Revelations ending. Yes. Just in terms of just how it's, I mean, you gotta think about it. You're like, what is this? I, th like, I think the kind of key to great storytelling is making things that are provocative. Right. Things that um, challenge you and make you think about stuff. I think the reason why I love the zombie community is it is passionate? It mm. is it is divisive. It is uh, contentious at times. Right. And you know, I, I've said in the past, which is my job is not to troll people. Yeah. My job is to try and kind of make stories, make narratives, gameplay that um, engage people. And so and so that's that's part of the motivation for Revelations. It was the motivation for Origins. It's the motive. You know, you can just keep coming back. Um, you know, like I said, it's not a full stop. It was brackets, as the, the comments I said. Brackets. So, always um, with the brackets. Always with the brackets. But, <laughs> but you know, who knows, by, an, by another game, I might be using other punctuation. <laughs> <laughs> exclamation marks. Some... There could be exclamation marks at that point. <laughs> but like, um, and I think we, we talked about this a little bit as well, mm. just beforehand. You were saying that basically, when you made that comment a long time ago, yeah. about Revelations being a however many month map. Yes. And a lot of us like really thought we we're like, what is going on? Is there something more in Revelations that, like, you know, yeah. that, you know, it, it had people going on I'm, crazy I'm quests? I'm glad you. I'm glad you asked that. So, so here's the situation. We went to kind of COD XP. Yeah. It was a fantastic event. Right. Sorry, you couldn't be there. Oh my god, it was the sad, <coughs> saddest day of my life. But um, this is the happiest day of my life. So, <laughs> so made up for it. Uh, I'm sitting there in front of the audience, and it's full of all the YouTubers, and I, I know them all, I see them all. This is the first time I've met a few of them as yeah. well. And uh, I'm sitting on the stool, and at that point, we we're already like. About halfway to three quarters, well, about halfway mm. through. I mean, we'd already kind of laid it all down. We we're building it up, but uh, we knew it was going to happen. And I'm sitting there That's in front insane. of everyone, and um, you know, there's certain things I can and can't say. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, it's, I'm not allowed to say certain things. 
Um, not not because it's you know an evil kind of tyrannical kind of thing, but more the fact that you want to kind of keep the surprise and keep right. the keep the uh, the uh, intrigue going. So I basically made a statement and said, "Oh, revelations will be <laughs> relevant for this amount of time," and that was as close as I could get to saying, "Hold on, everyone, I've got something else coming." So without that, me saying, "Hold on, everyone, I've got something else coming." So basically, guys. That was that was you trying to help us. That, that was, was me trying. That to was you special. trying to help us. <laughs> and then it's like hate, hate, hate. And I was like, like, like what the hell? Are you being I was like trying because I can't. I can't say that. I can't stand up. Yeah. Don't worry. There's something else that's not been announced to anyone yet. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you guys. I, I can't do that, unfortunately. So that you, was you my. Didn't, you didn't have a card at the time. You hold up. I didn't have the piece of paper. Yeah. yeah. By the way, there was writing on that. That was written on that piece of paper on that on that stream. <laughs> God. <laughs> There's a lot of friends that I have nowadays that I talk to about zombies mm-hmm. and just talk about I'm not, videos. I'm not stuff. doing my advertising here. There we go. Man, I love that there freaking logo. <clears throat> so it yes. looks so good. But uh, there's a lot of friends I have nowadays mm-hmm. that um, a lot of them really started playing zombies in Black Ops Three, and I think sure. that's what you said. Like this is this is something that is going to bring the community together in a new way, bringing new people into. The old guys. Because there's guys like me who have been there forever, but yeah. there's also those people who have, like, they love the story. Yep. And they love Black Ops 3 and they love it to death. Yeah. But they never experienced those crazy moments on Moon or and those crazy moments on just in, in the original maps, even. And those like maps the creepy are, stuff. Too. Those maps are essential to the storytelling. Right. I mean, I know there was kind of stuff out there like, oh, Blundell's rewriting it. You know? Yeah. Uh, that's not the case. That is needed. You know, that was one of the decisions gotcha. not to kind of fiddle around with it in that way. Because there is a relevance if you look at the story and you could, you could have played around with mm-hmm. it. But it's essential you need those maps to lead into to the stuff that we did later mm. so um absolutely you know and and that's when we're looking at black ops 3 we said okay this needs to be the definitive experience we did a, you know i was very happy with our season right. really kind of good but i really felt like if we could bring everyone in and reimagine it with with next gen hardware then it's the definitive experience so having black I mean, ops 3 and all them together is you've basically made the best the best zombies experience like on one thing I've ever seen. I would like, say we tried our hardest, so I hope I hope to satisfy you have, you, you have everybody always saying like, what's the best, Black Ops 1, Black mm-hmm. Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and now like you have all this on one game, yeah. which is insane. And now it, it's all next gen, it's everybody all, can play it, everybody new and old can play it. We can all like celebrate it all together. Just this whole thing sounds like a myth. Like I don't even <laughs> know, like I honestly don't know if you're, if, like are you real? Like. Are you, that's how is this where you can it? do like an alpha fade on me as I just, gonna, <laughs> just, just Doctor Who out of the situation? Yeah? <laughs> the TARDIS just fades. <laughs> well, entertain to the camera because mm-hmm. I need to go and get something. So you, you do your YouTube thing and I'll, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, thought, I, thought <laughs> I can't concentrate on this, you joking. Oh God. Okay, so. I, what, did you just get on gloves? I, I'd like to put these on please. You're supposed to be entertaining. People are watching this video. What is going on? <laughs> I hope that's the right size. That's, I that's... don't even know. Like, here we go. You're gonna get the one. Wait. Here we go. <clears throat> gotta push it in. Ready? Push it in. It's kind of small, dude. It's not small. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we look like professionals. If you were told... watching this on YouTube, it's gonna say this video is about to take a dark turn. <laughs> They're gloving up. They're putting gloves on. If you would have told me. <laughs> If you would have told me a month ago that I'd be sitting here in my in my apartment yeah. and putting on gloves yeah. together with you, that would be probably the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Yeah. And probably would Now let I me ask you know. this question. Because you know, you're you're a student, you're at university. Yeah, I gotcha. Um what type of gloves are you now wearing? I mean My thumbs a bit. They're not rubber gloves or they're not rubber gloves. So these are Off. document gloves. Document gloves. Yeah, these are special gloves that you wear when you're handling something of incre- in incredible sensitivity. That's what we're show the show the camera. Okay. <laughs> what is so I've got a, a little treat along. So, so there's a couple of other things out in the community. Last oh time I, I came on and spoke to people, um, there was two things. Okay. So number one. Um, I went on Mr. Ruffle Waffles video. I think I said that right. It's very hard to say that. <laughs> I just say Milo just, nowadays. Just say Milo Waffles, right? And uh, I'd said if uh, if they reached a certain likes num- number of likes on his video, this is the the I payback would, for I'd it. Get a little bit of intel. People right? have always been asking that. I remember going back on that video and people were like, w- yeah. "Where's the reward?" He never tells the truth. That blunder, right? <laughs> so okay, I don't know what that impression is, by the way. Um, <laughs> so there was that. Yeah. Um, and I want to feel like that I've just kind of made good on that promise. Gotcha. Also, uh, Mr. Dalek JD also asked me about another kind of topic. Okay. 
Um, and he said, will we ever see this? And I said, well, you know, never say never. It may, it may happen. Oh my God. Today's the day. So, oh my God. You're gonna hold this one end, I'm gonna hold the other end. We're gonna be very, <laughs> very careful, okay? Um, recently I was taken into the basement of Treyarch. It's a very big old key put into a door, unlocked. It kind of creaked as we opened. Yeah. In there, a lot of dust. Um, walked through and then at the very end of this hall was a, a little kind of stone plinth with a glass case on top. And uh, they said, Jason, it's time for you to, to see this. <laughs> and, uh, and they gave me this document and I've, and I've brought it here for you to, brought, to kind of- You brought it to a college apartment. Yeah. To, Sounds like uh, a very, very like classified document. Yeah, well, I basically brought it here because I'd made those promises and I, I wanted mm -hmm. to kind of do good on them. So here we go, so we ready? I'm ready. Your camera's okay. not gonna be able to pick up some of this stuff, so. Okay. Um, we'll try our best. Got you. We might have to kind of put it close for a moment or two, but not too close. <laughs> Top secret. Don't share this with anyone. Okay. No one's gonna see this video. Okay, let me just make sure that it's the right way around. Oh my God. Okay. This, is, this is not happening. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh. Uh, here we go, okay. So you hold one side. I'll hold I don't know if I can even. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So oh. <coughs> you got both sides. You got the top there. Yep. The top. Okay. Can we can we move this into kind of shot? I think that's that's pretty good in shot. <coughs> so little little let's bit get of the sheen off there. There okay. we go. So what this is is oh. the full zombie timeline. Oh my god. So this basically tracks every significant event across all those maps that are in Zombie Chronicles going into Black Ops 3 and all that, the multiverse and its interrelationship between all fractures and all main lines. Also, every group and every version of every group is also represented. Um, this must and, have took in And this like, is, if you look up on corner, this was from, where is it? This is from the Cronorium. So oh uh, my it turns God. out that the Cronorium is in the basement of Treyarch. Um, oh. So maybe that'll appear in a map in the future. But um, you don't have to testify to the camera because you can read it. They probably can't see the rest. Guys, of the I don't know if you, like you can't tell, but there is paragraphs upon paragraphs of information one, going in one. winding circles. Read, read, one out. read one out. There you go. Oh my gosh! All right, what in the world? Wait, what does that even say? <laughs> July fourth, nineteen forty-one. Richtofen returns to the lab under Alcatraz, where he meets Victus. Or what? Arriving from the empty earth with the Cronorium. Upon reading the Cronorium, Richtofen discovers numerous timelines documenting their fates and learns about the blood vials. I think we're done here. That's all we can do. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's the timeline. So, so to the people out there, I've delivered on my promise. I, oh my God. Yeah. I just yeah. love, I love the artwork on this too. This is a one of a kind. There's a package. Yeah, yeah, one of a kind. This, we don't we don't have any others. This is the only one. This is the only one. Yeah. So. Um, oh my that's god. That's why the gloves, you see. Um, <laughs> this is our own like. <laughs> this is our own. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Declaration of Independence. <laughs> this is it. So this is this is the entire thing all kind of put down. Yeah. Oh my god, that is an, that is amazing. I, in the in the very like in the very center it says in the beginning yeah. that is so high <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous so there you go I feel like I'm I have finals coming up this week you know yeah. right yeah let me, let me I, just put this on your bed I have, I have finals how, how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to do that there we go <laughs> Let's put it there. we can we can deglob now right. <sighs> that's an exclusive there for you I think thank you so much that's that's my pleasure like, that. I, I would give you, I would give you a hug right now on camera, but it'd be kind of weird. But like, I'll, I'll give you a hug. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to show Dad that one. <laughs> I'm taking that with me. You're not keeping that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you want to talk about? Is <clears throat> no, I think I'm good. <sighs> I suppose, I suppose the one last thing I would say is. Uh, just to reiterate really, a big thanks to all the people at Treyarch who worked incredibly hard to make this possible. A thank you to you for letting me come on your, your channel. And thank you so much, just like, believe, like, trust me, I, I'm i not the one who should, <laughs> and, should and be. And I suppose finally, a big, a big thank you to the community because that's that's what makes all this work. So, right, um, and it's honestly the best community. Like, they are, they are. Like, I think that's like, there's something unmatched by how 
magic like it sounds corny to say but like honestly how magical yeah. the community has been over the last eight years it's uh, you know and it goes through the kind of peaks and troughs and kind of growing mm-hmm. and so forth but it's it's growing every single time yeah. you know it gets bigger every single time which is uh, a testament to kind of the old timers who've been kind of doing it yeah. for a while and then for also the kind of new kids who are kind of coming in and exploring it for the first time so it's and it's that's what this entire pack represents too. absolutely yeah that's that's amazing that's amazing. Thank you so much, Jason. My pleasure. Just like seriously for everything for all of this being here, <laughs> announcing this like literally best summer, best awesome. summer ever. Thank you. It's about to happen. Great stuff. And oh man, absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been me, JC, and this has also been the man himself. And we will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one. With the